Hi there, and welcome to our Photoshop lesson about recreating the work of Jerry Allsman. He's a pioneering photographer from many years ago. He did all his work in the darkroom using multi-layered imagery. You can see these examples here, where he's used photographs of hands and superimposed images of the landscapes inside. Those ones we'll be looking at to do today. So if we go to Photoshop, you'll see that I have uploaded a photograph of the hand. Um, what we can do is we're going to rotate the image so it's the right way around so we can go to image rotation counterclockwise so it's backwards i now have a picture of a hand um, to make this more effective we need two hands so i couldn't take a picture with two hands so i took a picture of one hand i'll very quickly show you how we can use the select tool to select our hand draw around that I'll keep the once we've drawn around it I'll show you what we're going to do with it. so we've got our hands so we're going to copy and paste that you'll now see that we have two hands I need to flip it so I'm going to edit transform flip horizontal I've now got two hands here I'm going to arrange them like so okay what I'm going to do as well is paste out the other hand so I'm going to press ctrl B so I've got two hands and I don't need the background so I've just got my hand there and the other hand there and we'll put them together like so move them over actually in the middle now for this to work most effectively I need a background layer so I'm going to click on the background layer I'll move that to below those two layers I'm going to select a black color on my background click ok i'm going to bucket fill in the background so i've got a black background and i've got the two hands obviously i can spend a bit of time tidying up the edges in a minute but right now i want to make them black and white so i'm going to image adjustments and black and white click ok i've got one black hand on the other hand image adjustments black and white as well i've got two black hands there we go now i've also got a nice picture of a landscape with some clouds in it what I'm going to do is select part of this. I'm going to use the rectangle and marquee tool. I'm going to select a nice bit of this image, like so. I'm going to go to Control C. I'm going to change tabs to the picture with the clouds in it. I'm press Control V. Click OK. There is my picture of the clouds. I will scale that up to fit the size of the hands, like so. Now, it's in colour. I'm going to experiment here by changing the opacity to see where I would like it to be inside the hands. I can move it around. It would be quite nice to have the dog as part of the feature of the picture. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. Click OK. Now, this is where it gets quite simple, but also complicated. So. The two layers of hands I'm going to merge together. I'm going to click on both of them by pressing shift. I'm going to click on shift, click on them, right click, merge the layers or down here, merge layers. I've now got, I'll show you step by step, we have got a background. We have got a layer with some hands on it. We have got a layer with the picture on. So I close the eye on that. I click on the magic wand tool. I click on the area around the hand, so I have a flashing dot around the hands. I click on the layer with the photograph that I'm going to be placing in the hands, and I then press backspace. That removes the picture from the background. I press Control D to stop it flashing. And this is where it gets fun. We can make it back to being 100%, and you can see where the picture is. And I can change the layer mode to overlay and it will overlay the image into the hands or multiply or it will multiply the image into the hands some of them look more effective than others and we will try it in black and white as well so adjustments black and white there you go experiment with that there is a view of a landscape in my hands with my dog and obviously with more time i could tidy up the edges etc okay have fun doing your jerry allsman response Thank you very much.